Hello, we meet again. So in the series of uh, direct evidences, there, there are uh, at least five different experiments that are key to um, showing that uh, the nucleic acid or the DNA um, and later on its RNA is the genetic material and not the protein. One of the first ones is this experiment um, by Hamelin using acetabularia. Acetabularia is a species of alga and it's, it's a single cell. It is structured as such that it has a base that has the nucleus, it has a stalk and it's sort of a, like a flower and the top part here we call cap. There are two species that, that in which they can be differentiated quite is distinguished quite easily by looking at the cap. Uh, what they did was that when they exchange, exchange, they, they, they tried to grow, they tried to do a hybrid. That means they mixed a stalk and a base. The outcome uh, is always dependent on the type of nucleus. So that means to say the Mediterranean nucleus will always give a Mediterranean cap and uh, crenolata uh, base will always give a crenolata cap. So that um, is important. One of the first evidence to show that the nucleus is important. The nucleus, deter uh, the nucleus is where uh, it contains the uh, material of inheritance. Remember, at that time, uh, DNA was not yet recognized. So the factor that determines hereditary, hereditary uh, factors, hereditary features, are located within the nucleus. This, in 1927, uh, Frederick Griffith did a diff different types of experiments. So what's important in this experiment is that you have two types of um, bacteria. Remember here, the 3S and the 2R. Uh, now, it's important to understand the fact that uh, these two strains do not interchange. I mean, two, 3S will become 3S, will, will always grow as 3S, and 2Rs will will always be 2R. Uh, the difference in, in these two types is that the S is the uh, virulent type. S refers to smooth of the, the structure or the appearance of the colony uh, and it is virulent. That means if you inject it in mouse, the mouse will die. Uh, but the R, which is the rough type, uh, is not virulent. That means it may cause some symptoms but uh, the uh, mouse can still live on. So what happens is that um, in this step, you have what you say as heat kill. I mean, this, this bacterial culture was heated so that the um, bacteria die. And then they took the, the serum out of it, this, and then, uh, not the serum, the, 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 the bacteria, the dead bacteria, and then you inject it into the live mouse. And this is important to show that uh, if the 3S has been killed by um, heating, it cannot kill. So that's important. Life causes death in mouse, but uh, dead bacteria do not cause any problem to the mouse. However, in this step, when this uh, bacteria is mixed, okay, heat killed type 3S mixed with living type 2R, injected in the mouse, and then two uh, observations can be seen. One is that the mouse dies. Secondly, you can actually uh, recover type 3S from the dead bacteria. Remember I mentioned earlier, they do not interchange. Um, if you, if you uh, inject dead uh, 3S alone, it does not live inside the cells, but if you, uh, what you, if you mix dead 3S with living 2R, somehow you can get uh, live 3S. So this uh, gives birth to the uh, phenomenon of transformation. That means uh, the, for some reason for that wasn't clear at that time, the 2Rs have been transformed into 3S. Although uh, they do not yet know what the mechanism and what's involved and then they call it just transformant. Now this is later followed by um, uh, an experiment by Avery McLeod, Avery McLeod and McCarthy in 1944. They did sort of the same experiment, but they do it in vitro. In vitro means they do it on petri dishes and not inject them in, in, into mouse cells. They are uh, perhaps uh, more kind to animals from previously from previous experiments. Uh, so what they did was they have the two R cells and then it says it can grow. Now look here, you have the cells, you have the serum. Now serum uh, aggregate or precipitates. 
Uh, that means it's 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 a serum that prevents the the bacteria to grow well on uh, on on the plate. So here you can see if you have uh, uh, 2R, what, what, what is not shown here is that if you have 2R, if you have 2R, perhaps uh, the better one is that if you have 2R, you mix it with serum, you will get no colonies. So that probably make, will make you understand better. So the control is this 2R, you get growth. 2R plus serum is not shown here, you will not get growth. And DNA from heat killed 3S also does not grow. However, if you have 2R plus DNA from heat killed cells and the presence of serum that precipitates 2R, remember what this is important for? This is important to prevent 2R from growing. What you get is actually 3S. Right? So again, um, it must be coming from this 2R that has been changed. Right? Because DNA on its own cannot live. And then the 2R should not be able to grow because you have a serum that, that precipitates it. And uh, sorry. And um, so finally, you have a 2R here with. So they want to know. Uh, so they want to see what uh, in this. In this um, heat kill. Now, normally, when when you kill bacteria by heat, you break the bacterial structure. Uh, so that means in this in the solution, you'll have the fragment, you have the protein, you have the RNA, you have the DNA. So people argue. So okay, fine. We know that something from the the S can transform to R, but which part? So that's why they did this experiment and they added protease to the heat killed uh, cells. They added RNAs to the heat kill cells and then it added DNAs. Now, protease will denature all the proteins. And then, so that means um, without proteins, they check, oh, they, they'll see that it can still grow. Without RNAs, so sorry, without RNA, because RNAs will kill all the RNA, without RNA, it can still grow. But without DNA, there's no transformation. So, this is one of the first evidence to show that. Um, a transformation D is 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 actually driven by DNA. I think uh, this slide um, I'll explain in the next video.